Uh, hi, I'm Matt from Young Rebel Set. Hello, I'm Mark from Young Rebel Set. Uh, our music is quite uplifting, rousing, soul searching, um, raucous, it's a bit of everything really. Um, how would you describe it? I think, uh, I think at the moment it's, it's become uh, quite rocky, quite alternative, but I think originally we were known as a, almost like a folk band and I think um, our first record was almost quite folky and I think what people people kind of associate us with the folk scene but I think we, our sound has developed over the last 18 months or so and I think now we've, we're moving into a bit more kind of uh, rocky, more epic, bigger sound so that's what people have got to look forward to. The story behind the name, we were actually called Billy the Kid first off. Um, but we, we wanted something that reflected kind of a group name because there was, uh, was it eight of us at the start? Seven of us. Seven of us, seven of us at the start. And uh, we wanted something, you know, kind of uh, said what we were kind of thing. And uh, we were young, we were rebellious. I don't know where the set came from. Uh, and now we're neither rebellious, neither young. Reset. But I mean, originally, how the band began, Matt, Matty was Matty was on his own, and he, he started his own uh, his own band as Billy the Kid. So when he started introducing new members, that's how it, it was just called Billy the Kid. But as the band developed and we started writing more together, and it didn't really reflect what we were. Did yeah, it? yeah. It seemed a bit like it was Matty's solo project, and it. And we weren't really at the time. We were. We, we wanted were something to show us that show people that we were a band. And uh, yeah, we needed a new name. The weather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we've been touring. We've been touring the UK and Germany, and Austria, and Switzerland uh, for about <clears throat> probably more than four years now, and. Um, Hospitality, I think. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, and the, the audience that comes to the show, I think with new music in the UK, people are a bit afraid to spend money to go out and see new music unheard of. Whereas in Germany, people seem to be excited about going to watch new music that they maybe haven't heard before, or, you know, they're, they're willing to uh, sit and listen up, you know, part with their hard earned, hard earned money to come and see a band, you know, they haven't heard much about or maybe possibly nothing about. And uh, I think that's great. I think uh, the whole attitude to new music in Germany is, is, is far, far different to what it is in England. And I think that's a very good point, actually, because I think our record, our first record, was much more successful in Germany and Austria than it was in the UK. And I think... Because it, of that one. And it's reflected on, on how, the, how the touring has become. So, for example, we do get treated a lot better in Germany and Austria. We do do better shows, we, but... The album done better because of what Matty pointed out there. What been new on it? Everything's new on our new album. Um, I guess it's uh, it's us really. In the first album, we didn't really get a chance to uh, portray ourselves in the way we'd like to, and the, like production kind of way of it. Um, but this time, we we spent time on it. We have got it right. We've. Uh, said right this is us this is the sound we want we've picked everything rather than somebody producing it and taking it somewhere we, we didn't particularly want it to go like on the first album um, so it's kind of it's more it's more of a live feel to it a more gritty um, but still you know it holds all the qualities that were there in the first album but they're just turned in a different light and of how we actually want them to be I mean there's still like <coughs> the lyrics are Lyrics are still there. There's no like uh, hidden meanings and long words uh, that, that I wouldn't understand. Um, so yeah, I think everything's still in layman's terms, and you still yeah. understand it. But it's got more of a feel to it, and like you know, it's got something that'll make your hair stand up on the back of your neck. It's got something that'll you know make you a bit fucking oh wait, let's have it. It's got something that'll take you down. It's got a bit of everything, and I think it's uh, it's all shown in the light that we want it to be shown. At, so. We're, we're, we're very happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think obviously we had, 
we hadn't put anything out for a while and then when we'd done the live thing we thought it would be nice to kind of give something give something away and and it seemed, it seemed to be quite well received and not only that I think it was obviously a lot of the songs that we played were songs off the first record that I don't think we had chance to record how we would want them to be recorded so when we put the live EP out with all the kind of first songs first record songs on it it was kind of we delivered it in a way that we, we always yeah. wanted to deliver it in. Because I, I think uh, something that people seem to point out when they actually come and see us live, when they've heard the record first, they're like, fucking hell, you're miles better live than you are on the record because of the energy and the attitude that comes across in the live thing. So it was, it was a great opportunity to show people who maybe haven't been to see us live uh, what we're actually like live, yeah. rather than, you know, the presentation on the record which is you know a bit precise and a bit too nicey nice and it's also that we're really nice guys and we always like to give something to our fans for free <laughs> yeah it was all like quite coincidental wasn't it and mm -hmm. quite by accident um i think it was some guy in switzerland it was martin in switzerland yeah we had a promoter in switzerland who kind of discovered the band via the internet as everyone everything is these days and he he put us on a few shows, and he would introduced us to a couple of the guys at the uh, Grand Hotel Van Cleef label, and it just started from there really that they became, you know, interested in us and liked the songs. They wanted to book us for a few gigs, and it just spiralled from there. And then, and then eventually, they wanted us to sign to the label and put the record out. So you know, everything worked out very well. Yeah, and I think it was like. Uh the fact that there's such a small kind of close knit kind of family unit there, rather than a big conglomerate, is that the word? Yeah, a big, big um, corporation. Yeah, so that you know, I think the thing that stuck out for me was like there were all of them were actual genuine fans of the band, rather than just seeing dollar signs. Um, uh, so yeah, I think that was the the main thing of saying yes to them after coming out on like one or two tours, I think it was, and because uh, they were pushing us for a while to work with them and we were like, mm, you know, we haven't really heard of you. Trying to keep our options open at one point. And yeah. then, you know, once we started things, seeing what they were actually doing over here for us on the live side of things, we thought, well, you know, let's let's do it. I think uh, we got friendly with them and we, we know that we've got their full support in what we do, which is you know, always nice for any band, especially in these days. Bands get dropped left, right, and centre, especially in the in the big major labels. So working with an independent and such a small family kind of group, you know, nothing nothing goes under the water. Nothing's everything's said face to face, and you know, um, just nice to feel part of that kind of group where you feel like everyone's working together, and yeah, and you don't for the same for the same common cause. And you don't feel like uncomfortable, like you know, if something doesn't work. We, everyone can discuss it and you know maybe work at it and change it whereas I think if you're with certain labels something doesn't work first time then there's, yeah there's, help, there's help no managing it. director that you don't meet that's calling all the shots you meet everybody in the team and uh, you know everyone's got their opinions and mm. you, you work it out together rather than you know a big guy in a big office saying fuck it drop Every them tower. send them over here send them over there yeah.